they're not having sex. Is it really wrong? Is gay marriage really bad if they're not having sex? By the way, they're having sex. What planet are you on? Lifelong celibacy, she says, um, is what gay Christians need to do. Not marriage, not heterosexual behavior. Lifelong cel celibacy because, quote, she says, reparative therapy is the prosperity gospel. Rosaria Butterfield states, quote, I do not believe sexual orientation changes are a gospel imperative. Uh, can I uh, change a word in that? I, I'm changing it, but just tell me what you think of it. I do not believe sexual orientation changes, excuse me, no, no. I do not believe that repentance is a gospel imperative. It makes it sound funny, doesn't it? Uh, I do not believe sexual orientation changes. Hold on a second. Isn't your sexual orientation, if it's homosexuality, an aspect of a fallen nature? And you don't believe that repentance and God sanctifying you, like changing you, is a gospel matter? She says, I'm on record for saying that reparative therapy is the prosperity gospel. Ah, reparative therapy is the social gospel. Or prosperity gospel, my bad. Reparative therapy is heresy. On this earth, God will give one person ten crosses to bear and another person one. What she's teaching is a fundamental denial of God the Holy Spirit. What she's saying is, if we say that God will change you, and those who... Christ frees, he frees indeed. And when you come to the cross, God will change your heart. She says that is prosperity gospel. No, that's a redefinition of terms. The prosperity gospel is that God will give you a Cadillac, not that God will give you a new heart. That is the gospel. think I get mad at James White, you just wait until somebody takes a big steamy dump on the gospel, and I'm going to get real mad. I don't want a gospel that cannot change my heart. Damn that gospel. Damn that gospel. Because it's a fake one. It belongs in hell. The real gospel changes hearts. I'd preach nothing else. And nothing else is worthy to be preached in the name of Jesus. To preach that God will change your heart is something as perverse as the prosperity gospel. Hope you see why I'm upset. These people are worried about fake news at Pulpit and Pen. I'm a lot more worried about fake gospel coming out of them. She continues, she says, and I think the prosperity gospel is to say, no, no, give your life to Jesus and all will be well. What the gospel promises is that if God gives you a heavy cross to bear, the Lord himself will uphold the heavier part. The cross that we carry for Christ is not sin. Sin is what we throw down. Sin is what we throw down to follow Christ. The cross is the consequence Picking up Jesus and 
suffering with him. He already suffered for our sin. We throw down our sin. We pick up our cross. What the heck is wrong with you people? James White read this. James, did you read this? These people get upset when I mock them. And they care nothing for when God is mocked. Yeah, God will help you carry your cross of homosexuality. God will break the curse of homosexuality. If you don't believe that, you're in a different religion from me. God will turn thieves into honest men and murderers into gentlemen. Perverse. She says, Christians have deeply oppressed this victim group. The LGBT community must disciple us on this. She says, the gay and lesbian community is a real community. And you know what? The Christian church has a lot to learn about standing with the disempowered and accompanying the suffering and being good company for the suffering. Uh, Rosaria came to faith during the AIDS epidemic, Diane explains, and has strong memories of standing with the disempowered. She says, I often say to parents who have lost covenantal children to the gay community, you will have to work very hard to love your son and daughter better than the gay community. So she has conceded that the gay community loves their son and daughter. Jesus said, or John says, that God is love. God gets to define love. Love is not sodomizing your son. No gay person in the history of the world has loved another gay person while they're sodomizing them. It's an act of hatred and anger. But you're going to find out in a minute, Rosaria says not to mention anal sex, ever. Not to mention anal sex. Because it's vitriolic. You don't have to work hard to outlove the gay community. I promise you that. Because that it's hatred. Sticking something up somebody's butt is hatred. Sorry for the bluntness. I don't know what's wrong with people. 